Welcome back to School of the Night TV. I'm Jack Wood, joined by Harry Giorgio and the well-behaved young men. Okay, so this next one is my latest single. It's called Best Life. It just got its first play on Radio 1-2 with Alex Holcomb. So yeah, man, let's get straight into it. This one is called Best Life. Living up to your name, being all cosy over there. This is very cosy, actually. It's lovely. We should do this more often. It's very close. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice to see you all together and that. And you, you, what I love is we bumped into you guys in the street and you branded these men. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Well, it's only me and Harry that are branded. <laughs> well, to be fair, so it started out like... We so because it says well behaved. What's he say after the says well, behaved. well behaved? Well behaved. It's is a that bit much in it? Is like it a reminder of that? So it was um, after one of uh, our shows. Was it um, one of your? Just releases? be honest, Matt. None of us remember it. We just woke <laughs> up with it. We just, yeah. Someone was like, just got out the tattoo. And but it was like the irony of we weren't. They weren't well behaved, right? It was like a joke. We'd just go to gigs and do loads of mad shit. And mm. now, over the years, they've become well-behaved. So it lit it's literal now, like it is Harry Giorgio and the well-behaved young men. You manifested we live up it to the name. by getting it yeah. tattooed. So anything you want to happen, just get it tattooed on your ankle. And Trust slowly, it'll, it'll become... Could you scroll up a little bit for me, George? There was a lovely little chat from Mofo Joe. Who, uh, no, it's there, actually. I've, I've missed it. I just discovered you all. It was, oh, a bit lower, a bit lower, a bit lower. Lower, lower still. It's the comment above the one that we just... It, it's the second to last one. Uh, up again. It's okay. We get. We'll get there. We'll get there, George. This is live, by the way. If you didn't realise that, um, <laughs> this is not pre-recorded. Because why the fuck would we leave this in, eh? Um, here we go. De define well-behaved. That's the first question. Well, I mean, <laughs> you, you've seen it there on the. Uh, uh, just because you got it tattooed doesn't mean it's true, <laughs> mate. I've I've learned that lesson. I've got a B on my arm. Doesn't mean I'm buzzing. <laughs> you know. Um, but lads, I mean, I love the video for lights. Thank you very much. And you're working in a bar in that video. Yeah, I actually used to work at that bar. And everyone was wearing Giorgio shirts. Is so, this a family bar? Yeah, there's two parts of it. So it's a collaboration with my cousin, Charlie Giorgio. Which is lovely. He did the bit at his dad's shop, and I did the bit at the bar at the exchange where I used to work. So, he, so, so yeah. his dad owns like a, is it like a... Giorgio's, yeah, big up Uncle Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what does where Giorgio's make? Just fish and chips. We're Greek, we're Greek so we do what is, we do is, best is, in I, it. Fish and chips by, by 
taking a British culture thing? I know, and it I know, better? but it's it's a it's a Greek thing, man. Yeah, in in the UK. I thought a gyros were, were more Greek. Gyros, yeah, they gyros, are as sorry, well. I yeah, yeah. Wrong. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, I'm so culturally inept. Let's all laugh about it. Uh, I work hard and strive, do what I gotta do to survive. Go downtown, see the same faces once again. Go round and round in the same circle with my so called friends. This don't come cheap, you know. This don't come cheap, This don't come cheap, you know. Nearly for the weekend. So tell me. So, because you, you seem to enjoy the collaborations, you like jumping on stuff with people, who's like a dream collab for you? Oh, that's so tough. It is hard. That's so tough, yeah. Um, oh, man, that's so on the spot. I'm just going to say something like random, like the Prodigy. Prodigy? That's, that's, that'd be that's I mean, how do you guys feel about that? There'll be some hectic live playing oh. for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there, is there any collaborations that the, the friendly young men, I know, well-behaved young men would like? Hmm. What are we thinking? See, the, you, the funny thing is, mm. the, the music I like is quite far fetched from Harry's. <laughs> I do like <laughs> Harry's music. Yeah, yeah. But it's not how sort of like I got into it all. So it's a bit... I would say yours is John Mayer. Yeah, that's so that you. wouldn't fit with Harry, so... I don't know, I think Harry could carry a bit of mayor. Do you think? I yeah. think you can manage it. Collab. You're a man that could do anything, yeah. aren't you, Harry? Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not going to turn down mayor if it comes no, to you, are you? No, definitely not. You're not going to be going like, do you know what, mayor? We, we're still waiting. We'll, we'll just wait until the prodigy come around first. <laughs> Get in the queue. Um, but yeah, how did you meet the well-behaved young men? Um, me and Matt actually ended up moving in together and... Um, at the time, I was still doing a lot of backing track stuff. Mm. And then I think I had there was a gig that I had and I needed a guitarist. And I just said to Matt, do you fancy doing it? And then we ended up, we did one set. Then we ended up, we were like a little duo for a bit, weren't we? Like um, doing acoustic stuff. And then one day we sort of organized a jam session. 
and a few of our friends come down. It sounds a bit like cliche and that, but it just sort of it clicked straight away. Like mm. we, it felt like because it was just I was just going under my name, Harry Giorgio, and we rehearsed and that. And it just it just felt like it clicked, and we were out in this pub after, and people were like, "What's the band called?" And they were like, "We're his band." And I felt like such a twat, and then <laughs> we ended up coming up with a, uh, the daft name that we've got, and there. Well, for a while he was like, "I'm not, I'm not sure that's the name." And you don't we all, a name. we all said, "No, that's <laughs> oh, the yeah, name." Oh yeah, yeah. It was that's never. I never actually chose it. It was like it got uh, my manager Yasin printed it against yeah. my will, and then it just stuck. So we rolled with it. Wait, what? It was. Do you think it's like having a backing band has changed the way you approach writing your music now? 100%, yeah, 100%, because we all work together in the studio. They're an integral part of like everything I do. Do you know what I mean? Who, who yeah. gets last say? How is this that? One. You're still getting the last say, though. Because you your yeah, name on the I door. Guess so. Well, I'm like quite perfectionist. I'll play them about 10 versions of the same mix. And they're like, it's the same. And you're yeah, like, no. And yeah, yeah. Like, mm, there's a slight buzz on this one, but I'm feeling I've it. turned the saturation up on the guitar by oh, 1%. Is, it, is he a is studio wizard? Is this his thing? We you, you spend hours over like one like drum sound? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And is that fun? No. No. <laughs> I, I, d I don't even find it fun. I don't even find it fun. It's just, it's just, it's got to be right. Do you know what I mean? So, what? So you, you not, you don't only work on your own stuff. You work on other people's stuff. What's the toughest thing to do when you're working on someone else's stuff compared to your own stuff? What's the big difference for you? 
Um, I think um, the toughest thing is when you both when when you both want to do something a different way. Do you know what I mean? But mm. the thing is, it's like when you're producing for someone else, it's their vision. So you always have to go with what their vision is. You can suggest things, but over the years of doing it, I've just become better at doing that. Whereas when I first started producing, I used to think I was right, and if you <laughs> disagreed with me, then. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But now it's like I just... Or you just jump on the track and then change it that way. Is that yeah. the easy way of doing it? Being like, look, if I do it with you, I'm sure it'll be better. That's it, man. <laughs> so you sneak in. Oh, uh, well, there we go. Thank you so much to Harry Giorgio and the well-behaved young men who, do you know what? Lived up to their name there. Thank, Thank you very much, much, sirs. Thank you. Oh, Big love. Thank you. And don't you go...